All right, this is our 2018 Mustang with 1911s and 30 19 tires. Uh, we can do this with a little camber in the front, but we get pretty close to the strut. Uh, depending on the strut brand, we can do it with or without a spacer. This white line didn't need one. That's about the perfect clearance. We got the spring above the tire, as you can see, and we got about two to three millimeters from the rim protector to the strut. And when it's on the ground, it's actually tucked up under the fender. It takes about two and a half, three degrees of camber, and we can do that with uh, a lowering spring in our camber plates or, of course, with coilovers in our camber plates. Same on the back, 1911, very different offset. Um, and instead of using a big 30 mil spacer and using a rear on the front, we do two different offsets. Uh, out back, there's actually more room than up front. Uh, to the shock itself, we have about, I don't know, an inch, maybe three quarters inch to the uh, shock mount. Uh, and it tucks up under the fender nicely and doesn't have any poke. Can't stand tires poking out of the fenders. It drives me crazy. Uh, a 315 is about the max you can fit on the front or rear of an S550 without cutting fenders. We've seen 335s done, but there's a lot of rubbing involved and some fender pulling.